I'm pharmacist Rory Blake. I'm uh, coming to you from a car lot. Uh, my sister dropped me off. Uh, uh, of course, my car is not ready, so I've got time to sneak to the back and, and maybe make a video. Uh, on the way over, she was telling me about everything that that's happening in in the last 30 years is has been because of uh, government, and I didn't ever think that. I mean, I've always tried to participate in government and didn't think the government was evil but uh, all the problems that we're having with the microbiome now can all be traced to political things in fact the the, uh, the two things that uh, uh, are, are responsible mainly for the loss of diversity in our microbiome is because of two different government programs um, I think we've talked before about uh, that humans are 99% of the same DNA as, as that in chimpanzees. And uh, the only difference between chimpanzees and humans is that we have a microbiome that's formed into an, almost an organ. And the microbiome consists of hundreds and hundreds of different uh, gut bacteria, which are banded together and held together by plasmids that are developed in the uh, placenta and babies are born with plasmids and, and any bacteria that grows in their gut or replicates in their gut picks up a plasmid. And so that makes them part of the, the group and um, they're protected from there on out and uh, able to, to be part of the, 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 the human body. But humans with the extra up to a thousand different uh, bacteria species uh, compared to just a few dozen that are in the, the chimpanzees, uh, are little chemical factories that make precursors and, and uh, chemical intermediates and, and actual neurotransmitters that the humans are, that keeps humans from being uh, like uh, chimpanzees. Uh, first of all, we can speak. And if you've noticed that there's an increase of autism, uh, little kids that are being born without the ability to speak. Well, if you can't speak, if you're autistic, it's because you're missing those eight different bacterial species that, that make the neurotransmitters that allow speech. Uh, birds have them, but autistic children don't. So it's, it's because they've been killed and the gut bacteria has been, has been disabled by chemicals. There's two chemicals that are, that are really important to this and have caused it. The first one is Roundup. Roundup is uh, something that absolutely will kill bacteria. It's an antibiotic and it kills the gut bacteria and it gets in everything. Roundup is a is a herbicide that's protected by the federal government. Uh, there's been suits against uh, Monsanto which is a big a big outfit but it's owned by a radical Republican and uh, so he's protected and, and, the, and the Republican officials protect it. The second thing that's poisoning us is carbon monoxide in carbonated water. The carbonation that's in water has been a monopoly, and, and Bob Dole, who was a senator in the in the in the 90s, uh, protected this and made it into a monopoly. So every carbon monoxide carbon dioxide supply in America is contaminated with carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide is what causes beer belly. If you've ever had any alcohol, uh, any alcohol or you know alcohol produced for a long period of time. Um, alcohol that's produced uh, by uh, brewing, I mean by uh, fermentation. It has, it has carbon dioxide as a side effect. And so Archer Daniels Midland has a monopoly because of Robert Dole on carbon dioxide production in America. And that has his his supply of carbon monoxide of carbon dioxide is contaminated with carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide causes the bad bacteria. It doesn't poison the good ones like like uh, Roundup. It kills. It, it it encourages the growth of bad bacteria. There's um, anaerobic bacteria like um, uh, the the worst one is probably Peptostreptococcus, which can quadruple in as little as three three hours having uh, been exposed to carbon monoxide that's in the carbon dioxide. So basically carbon monoxide, which is in every carbonated beverage in America today, beer, 
beer or uh, soft drinks, whatever, is, is, is a contaminant that's either going to cause beer belly, which in, it causes your life to be really short, you end up uh, dying very quickly, or you get uh, diabetes or, or metabolic syndrome or some other things because of that. But the main thing it does is it in increases the growth of exponent ex causes exponential growth of bacteria that are bad bacteria. They eat up all your groceries, and the reason you decline as a human and you decline faster if you, if you, if you drink carbonated beverages. Um, I've had some patents that I've tried to get through the United States government and I've been blocked since 2012. So that's over 10 years that I've tried and spent tens of thousands of dollars and my attorneys tell me that all these patents, all these patent applications are patentable but they keep getting blocked by the, by the US uh, PTO. So my sister may be right. And I, the more I think about it, I get angrier and, and sorry I'm making a video from from a car dealer, but uh, it's it's that's another thing that makes me mad. But anyway, I'm telling the truth, and you can be sure that somebody's going to be able to back this up. But it, it what's basically happening is the same thing that 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 Stalin tried to do in the 40s. He tried to breed gorilla. I mean, he tried to breed chimpanzees and humans to get a, a more passive uh, citizenship or passive. Uh, uh, serfdom. That's what we want. That's what we're going into today is serfs and sheriffs. And if you want to be a serf or you want to be a sheriff, just keep on doing what we're doing. But we need to stop this this pollution and and the and the killing of our environment. And we got to do something about it. I mean, it's like it, there's so many things that are upsetting, and I'm going to let it go here. But you've got the basics. Um, Thank you for your time, and, and uh, I am a pharmacist that studied the microbiome and know that we're losing the microbiome, and I know the reason now, and I'm, my sister seems to think that it's because of the government. And I tend to start, I'm really starting to agree with her because there's a lot of people that benefit from violence, uh, in, I mean, the people that run the gun industry who happens to be supported by the, the, uh, the same group, the, the people that are um, making the most money off of sickness which is the insurance companies, which is supported by the same group. So, and, and, the, and the financial disruption that's happening in America and, and people working for, people that are working for uh, uh, the finance companies is, is another group that's supported by this, this, this political party. So we've got to do something about it and thank you for your time and, and uh, hopefully we can, hopefully we can have something good happen. Thank you again.